Hello once again everybody, my name is Agent Mustache and today I'm going to be teaching you how to make a map for Gary's mod. So first thing you need to do is open up the hammer editor. I have a shortcut here in my Steam games that I created, but to uh, get hammer editors open and to make a shortcut for it, I will teach you that now. So you go to Gary's mod, if you haven't installed, of course you need Gary's mod to do all this properties local files and browse local files Get it? close that for now and you need to go to the bin oh my internet's back up amazing so you go to the bin and you go down and you find hammer you wanna you're gonna wanna double click on that or just open it up and yeah it's gonna open up the hammer editor uh... no i do not want to do that and you'll have it here that's how you open it and to make a shortcut if you don't know just add a game add a non steam game and just hmm, you could search through this a bit until the hammer editor appears wait you could search through it until the hammer editor appears which is probably gonna happen at some point or you could click browse wait Steam isn't working too well for me today. But you're gonna wanna click browse and then just local disk, home files, Steam. Alright, Steam apps common. Where is Gary's mod? There we go. Uh, bin hammer and then open. I'm not going to do that. Well, once you do open, click add selected programs and then it'll appear inside of your games. You'll be able to name it, change the picture of it, and it's just a shortcut for it. So now onto the actual hammer editor. First thing you're going to want to do is go to file and then click new or control in and you get this layout it might look a bit confusing but don't worry it's very simple to understand first thing go to the object tool which is this or the block tool and just click and drag on the grid until you get a shape that you want click browse and the hat well right here is where you get your textures for the object right now I'm just building a basic ground for it so you click browse it opens up this which is the objects and stuff like the textures and stuff see it has everything inside of Gary's mod and Half-Life 2 and you can import some other stuff I have no clue what any of that is that's kinda creepy and what I'm gonna do here is just do dev which is what I usually use for the ground scroll down and then I get ah uh, this alright and then I press enter and we have a ground here and what I'm gonna do is press Z to go into movement mode and move out of that block and there we go so hmm, let's see if I missed anything Alright, so you're not going to need any of these at the moment. Let's see. Oh, yeah. I'm trying to think. I'm pretty sure this thing I missed, but. Alright, I don't think there's anything I missed. Okay, so you have the ground here. What you're going to want to do now is just click off of it and go to. Well. You have the ground now. What you're going to do next is add in a spawn point. So to do that, you go to Entity Tool, and then just click somewhere. And go back to the mouse tool and unselect it. And there you go. You get this guy. He is Gordon Freeman, and this is a spawn point. You can double click it. It opens up Info Player Start. Just show some basic stuff for it. Nothing important. And yeah, 
so now that you have a basic ground you can save it I'm just gonna save it as mm, hmm I'm thinking oh, tutorial map I'm just gonna save don't know if I spelled tutorial right but there we go I have saved the map and to get it working inside of Gary's mod just press F9 to open up the compiling I'm just gonna undo that and co compile and there we go the map is compiled so if you open up Gary's mod right now you will be able to try your map if you find it it will most likely be in others unless if you added GM underscore and then the map name so yeah but you're not gonna want to do that right now because if you do it er just the map will be messed up there will be a problem with the skybox because there is no skybox so whenever you move the mouse around it will just basically duplicate what's on your screen all over the skybox it's annoying so what you're gonna do is to add a skybox you're gonna want to add a skybox of course so you're gonna go to the object tool again I think it's, yeah the block tool and you're just gonna drag over what you have already then you go to the other menus other views and make the skybox the size you want. I'm gonna want it this size. Now browse. And to get the skybox, you're gonna type 2D, and it's going to have all these. You're just gonna want to click this, double click it to select it, and press enter. Now you have a block. Well, yeah, you have a block. Um, it's not gonna work. Let me explain why it's not gonna work. It has a skybox so it's an object you're gonna spawn in it and you're gonna be stuck in it because you won't be able to move because it's a physical object and since you're inside of it you'll see through the outside because there's no interior of it and there are no interior textures so to fix this you're gonna go to tools make hollow and I like to do negative 32 see how thick do you want the walls use a negative jumper to hollow outwards so we're, I'm gonna use negative 32 just press ok and boom now you can see on the little overhead view and the side views it's thick and if you go inside you can see the walls so now if you compile it and run it and I can run it I'll do that later if you compile it then once you run it you will get a generic skybox and I guess that's it for episode one of how to make a map in Gary's Mod. Thank you, thank you everyone so much for watching, and I will see you in the next video.